Hello there, how are you doing? I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Welcome along to another live stream where we delve deep into the world of audio and making things sound better. Uh, Now, I'm really excited to bring today's live stream to you uh, because it's a question I get asked quite a bit. And I was looking back through the archives and I haven't done a tutorial on this since uh, 2013. (laughs) So quite a few years ago. So I think I can bring a little bit more knowledge, hopefully, to the table, uh, some new ideas, some new techniques, and show it to you in a different way than I have demonstrated previously. And that is how to remove distortion from audio. If you get hot or distorted audio, what can we do to remove or at least reduce distortion from audio? We might not be able to clean it up entirely, but we might be able to do something uh, to the audio to get it sounding a little bit better and get you on your way uh, to having good audio without having to re-record or synchronize um, recorded studio uh, done after the event in a studio or something like that. We got some video audio. It's not sounding too good. Let's get into the screen share. And first of all, we'll start in Premiere, um, where I have a little uh, recording here. As you can see, I've recorded on my camera's internal mic. Just a little sample here. Let's play it back. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit dis. See, the camera's internal microphone is distorting. And this is the audio that I picked up on the uh, condenser mic there. I was recording into Audition, as you can see in the background. And uh, I'd really like to have a listen to that audio. First thing I need to do is synchronize this audio with the video clip. Way to do that really simply is select everything in the sequence in Premiere, right click, synchronize, everything's good there, click OK, and oh, (laughs) could not match. Hey, (laughs) it's a live stream. Why can it not match? It should be able to match. Maybe it's because of the distortion. Uh, Usually this works a dream. I find that if it can't do it, uh, what you need to do is get a clap or something or two or three claps in. So maybe it didn't work because I didn't clap before recording there. But no worries, I can synchronize this up pretty much perfectly and get to the, uh, the audio that I recorded into the condenser mic, which unfortunately is also a little bit distorted. Let's see. I think we're about on target there. Ah! No, slightly off. Let's just zoom in a little bit more. Sorry, this is going to blow your ears out, so... I might need to actually, there, perfect, perfect sync now. Uh, So just going to turn this down a bit so it doesn't blow your ears out. Um, I'm going to mute out the camera's track for a second. Let's have a listen. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. Ah, so you can see obviously peaking there on the red meters. Yeah, all around not very good. Uh, I'm just going to unlink now the, uh, the camera audio here and delete it. And then hold shift, move this up to audio track one, take it off mute, uh, select everything and link it. Uh, By linking now, wherever I move this, the audio clip will follow. Let's trim. uh, And we're going to have to do a little cut there, actually. So let's cut, cut, cut. So we've just got the uh, clip we need. Whoops. Didn't want to get rid of the actual audio. Uh, Why is it doing that? Don't do that. Hang on. Let's unlink. And link again. <laughs> it's uh, it's playing a practical joke on me today, Premiere Pro. <laughs> I will move over into Audition in just a little while. But first of all, uh, seeing as we're here in Premiere, I may as well show you uh, a trick that's worth to try for reducing uh, distortion sounds in audio. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. But we will hop over to Audition, which you can see there in the background of my video, uh, shortly. So the first thing I'm going to do is hop into the audio workspace, clicking here, boom, now I get a lovely mixing desk, and I can work inside the A1 track. So let's find A1, which is just here, Audio 1. And if you pop down this little triangle, you've got lovely effects. All of these effects are exactly the same as Adobe Audition. Uh, So if you want to learn how uh, audio effects work in Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, watch some previous tutorials on my channel. There are some obsolete audio effects that are kind of uh, legacy uh, Premiere effects, if you like. But I'm going to have a mess about right now with EQ and uh, filter and EQ. And I'm going to go for the parametric equalizer. Now, if I pop that into my effects rack on Audio 1, double click it, brings up the effect just the same as it would look in Adobe Audition. I'm going to bring some notches out now like this, 3, 4, and 2, for instance. Uh, Make the Q width uh, really high, so we're going to go up to nearly 16 there on each channel. And the reason for this is it gives me a nice little notchy thing uh, to sweep around frequencies like so, you see, and find any poor sounding frequencies or frequencies that are offending in the distortion. Sometimes it can be the case, your audio... So let's play and sweep at the same time. Just going to move this over here. 
Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. Ah. Okay, I can hear a boxy sound there. Pull it down. Ah. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. And play back again from the start. I think we're going to go up to the treble now. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. And you can ah. sweep. Let me sweep through and show you what that sounds like. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. Ah! So we're making minor changes here and just removing uh, frequency. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. Ah! And again, back to the start. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. Oh yes, we're hearing. Sometimes it can be the boxiness there. So case your audio is a little bit distorted. Okay, right, brilliant, fantastic. Now we can uh, switch this on and off like so using this little uh, power switch. Let's listen to it on and off. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. So just a minor difference, but enough uh, to start uh, reducing uh, the distortion that you're hearing in the video. Now I'm going to right click edit clip in Adobe Audition. So it's uh, rendering that out to Audition where I can make some changes. And the best thing you want to be using over in Audition is in the window menu and we want to go to diagnostics and we want to go to the declipper effect. Okay, declipper. And we'll start with just just restoring lightly clipped audio. Uh, before I run that, I'll show you another window called Amplitude Statistics. If you run a quick scan inside this window, it'll show you there are 9,900 possibly clipped samples on the left channel and 10,433 on the right. <laughs> actually, that's a, a good tip actually to take. Maybe we will copy uh, the left side over to the right hand side. Uh, and this can sometimes be the case if you're recording audio in stereo, that sometimes you get a cleaner or better feed on one channel. So that is the case, as I can see from Amplitude Statistics. So I'm copying left to right. So we have a less clip sample now. Sometimes it can be the Still pretty clipped. Let's uh, run the scanner now on the D clipper here inside the diagnostics panel. Here are all my clipped problems. And I just click repair all. Boom, let's have a listen now. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. So before. Sometimes it can be the case. After. Sometimes it can be the case. And you can go harsher with this. You can go restore heavily clipped and scan and repair, but that will be even harsher. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. And that's actually really not sounding too bad now, is it? You can obviously change the tolerance, minimum clip size if you want, uh, the gain level. So for instance, I might not want to sort of make that much of a dramatic change. Let's make that minus six instead. Uh, should be enough. Rescan, repair. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. You can still hear a little bit of distortion, but that's starting to sound much better. So Command S or you can go into File and Save inside Audition. And what that will do is, boom, re-render back into Premiere Pro. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. And then what we might want to do is just notch this down by uh, about 0.5 dB. And then if I play that back, sometimes it can be the case, or maybe even further, let's go down by one and maybe nearly 2 dB. Sometimes it can be the case. It is going rather loud, so I'm just going to pull down the master as well. Let's sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. And if I go much further down, sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. We're getting less of a clip here as well. So play by ear as to how much you want to uh, move this down. You might want to now that you're getting a good sound, uh, throw in a compressor like a single band compressor. Uh, again, we'll move in at a threshold of 20, a ratio of around two to one, attack down to about one or two milliseconds, release is okay, makeup gain up a little bit. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. Now we're losing the clipping and we're starting to sound a bit better. Sometimes it can be the case your audio is a little bit distorted. Okay. Ah. And definitely no distortion there ah. on the ah. So yeah, with a combination of parametric EQ, single band compression, and of course the wonderful uh, declipper effect with some super presets to start working from, uh, you can and you can access that inside the diagnostics panel inside Adobe Audition. You've got amplitude statistics to find out what damage was done. And if you really want to go and dig in, you can open up the frequency analysis window and watch a real-time waveform of all the frequencies. You might even be able to spot something here in spectral frequency display. The case, your audio is a little bit distorted. So you can sweep through and find frequencies that you find particularly offensive. But uh, 
It's been an action-packed session. I hope that you have got uh, a little bit from this one. If you have a better way to uh, find and reduce uh, distortion in your audio or video productions, please do let me know in the comments to this video. And as always, join up to the community over at community.musicradiocreative.com and keep watching every day at the same time for a live stream here from Music Radio Creative. Thank you.